sorting the Sunday pile, time to bury cowboys, Brandon Whedon true story, when Tony Oma went down with a collarbone injury, there was a cockeyed optimism about the cowboys chances without him. Dallas would survive the soft schedule, weather the storm and win games in the NFL behind the best offensive line in football, the stout running game band Brandon Whedon, game manager. People believe the Cowboys would survive the absence of Tony Omo. Reality is the Cowboys are basically dead in the water. Dallas 2015 season, once full of promise, is suddenly spinning rapidly around the drain and threatening to become another lost year under Jerry's watch. Things change quickly in the NFL and things have changed very quickly for the Cowboys. Which is kind of my way of saying the Cowboys' run game isn't as prolific this year. Part of the problem right now is no vertical threat to keep defenses honest. Death Ryden's return will help but it won't matter if Whedon isn't willing to throw the ball down the field. Pretty good chance Whedon won't be the guy after the bye week anyway, with Matt Castle on the roster and waiting to take over under center. And look, it's fine to go with Castle. Whedon doesn't make colossal mistakes every drive but he's not scaring anyone and he's not beating anyone. Literally. Dude hasn't won a start in nearly a full season's worth of games. Their division is better, remember when the NFC East was a laugh riot. When the Giants were 0-2, the Redskins were a joke and the Eagles' high-powered offense was sitting in the driveway with a broken axle. The East is far from full beast after Week 5 but it looks much scarier. Philadelphia finally figured some things out more on them later the Giants are the proverbial could be undefeated team and the Redskins are proving to be more than frisky thanks to a physical presence along the line. The NFC wild cards will be good, the only sour 